Welcome back aliens, my name is Evan Reddy and let's continue with this series on JavaScript. In the earlier video, we have talked about objects and then we have also talked about this keyword. Now in this video, let's try to understand the different way of creating an object. See nothing wrong with the way we did earlier, right? This is a basic way of creating an object in JavaScript. What we do is we name the object and then of course we have to assign the values. So these values actually are a key and a value pair, right? So we have a key and a value here. Okay, so this makes sense. And then, of course, depending upon the requirement, you can have different kind of objects. Here we are going for laptop objects. You can have, let's say, alien object or account object, a user object. Depend upon requirement, you can change it. But looking at this example here, don't you think this laptop 2 and laptop 1 are the same kind of objects? So basically, they share the same design, right? So basically, we can call it as a blueprint. Now, if you're coming from the world of Java or Python, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about uh, classes and object, but here we will not talk about class as of now. Let's talk about the blueprint. I, what I want here is I want to create multiple objects, of course. So what I want to do now here is I want to create multiple objects, but of same type. So laptop one, laptop two, maybe I want to create laptop three, laptop four, laptop five. Every time I don't want to mention the properties. This has to be common, right? So what we can do for this is let me remove the entire part here. So what we can do here is we can create a constructor function. I know that sounds weird, but what exactly we need here? So let's say I want, uh, maybe with this time we can go for alien. We have talked about laptop before, let's go for alien. So let's say I want alien one. So I can simply say, let alien one. Now this should be able to give me an alien object. And of course I want to assign some values as well. Uh, let's say I just want to assign the name and a technology. So in this case, I can just say, hey, I want the alien object and I want to assign some values. Maybe I can do this. I can say, I have a function. Let's say the function name is alien itself. And this function will accept two values. The first one is name and the second one is, let's say, technology. And this time, let's go for JavaScript. This is how I want to get it done. Uh, this may not be the exact way it has to be done, but something like this. I want an alien object. So maybe there should be a function which will take all the parameters, whatever parameters you have, and it will assign the values to it. The advantage would be if I create multiple objects, let's say alien 2, alien 3, alien 4, I just have to call this function and pass the values. Okay, this sounds good, right? Uh, but how will you do it? So basically, the way you can do that is with the help of constructor function. So what we can do here is we can create a function. As I mentioned, this is a function. So we'll say function and then we'll name a function. Of course, we can go for the same name. But what makes sense? Uh, how do you differentiate between a normal function and a constructor function? So it's recommended you go with a capital letter function name so that it will define it as a constructor. And here you can accept those two values. So what I'm passing is a name and I'm passing a technology. So I'm calling a function and then uh, we are assigning the values here. Okay, but there's one more thing here, uh, which you have to remember. So the first thing is the first letter of the name, make sure it is capital. That's how you differentiate between a normal function and a constructor. The second one is every time you create a new object, example, we got alien one here. Maybe I want to create alien two or alien three. Just by calling a function, it will not work. You have to use another keyword called new. Now what this new keyword does is it will create a new object for you. So every time you use this, it will create a new object. Uh, the advantage would be if you make changes in one object, it will not reflect on other object. And that's what we want, right? We want multiple instance of the object. Uh, so let's say if you're paying for five iPhones, you want five different iPhones, not one iPhone representing for all five. <laughs> okay, so that's one thing. Next is every time you do this, it will also give you a this keyword, remember? When you create an object, you get a this keyword and that's how you can assign the values. As of now, this object doesn't have any properties here. So whatever you're passing is actually normal local variables, right? So in this case, what we can do is we can set this dot name. That's how you refer to the object variable. And you can assign to a name here and we can give a semicolon. The next one is this dot tech and we can assign it the tech variable and that's it and by default it will return the object of the alien so what it will receive here is the object of the alien and using this you can create multiple objects now what it returns is you can't see this code but it says return this okay so this is something again john Cena, you can't see this it's there you don't have to mention that anyway so that's how you create a constructor function in javascript uh, but will it work let's try we have not ran this code right let's do that so i will just say log i just want to print the alien one and let's see what happens and you can see we got the output uh, so it's a alien object and it has two values what if i create another object here so i can just copy this and paste and we'll name this as alien 2 
and this is let's say Kiran and the technology is let's say Java and then this code and you can see we got Naveen because we are printing Naveen and let me print the alien 2 here and if you run this code we got Kiran and Java now these two objects are different let me prove it what I will do here is I will just change the value from alien 1 and it will not reflect all on, on alien 2 so I will just change the technology from of course that there are two different objects we are able to uh, assign the values as well but let's say the technology here is blockchain and now if I run this code you can see we got uh, Kiran Java so this is not changing for Kiran of course if I print uh, the alien 1 it will be assigning that new value which is the blockchain that's how you can create a constructor function this is a very special type of function which is a constructor because you are using a new keyword here okay uh, this makes sense right but can we add a method in fact we have talked about this in the earlier videos right we can have methods to the object but then that was a normal object and we were able to assign it and then we have seen one problem if you create multiple objects and what if you want to share a common method uh, we can achieve that with the help of constructor function so let me create a new uh, method here let's say work so as an alien we write code right so we work uh, so let me create a function here and uh, we'll say what this function will do as of now it will just print something and i will say solving bugs from 12 hours okay that's what we do right we write less code and we debug more that's the thing so once you got this you can simply use this any any of this object here and you can call uh, the thing so you can say alien dot work and you can simply call the function it should work let's try and you can see this it has that function which is a work and it says solving bugs from 12 hours so this is how you can create a constructor function and you can also add a method to it anything else yeah there's there's one more thing what if you want to return something else uh yes you can return the object but what happens when you try to return a value, let's say 7. Of course, right, by default it says return this, but if you try to do something else, let's see what happens. And if you can see, it doesn't have any impact. So basically, it just skips this line. If the return does, does not return an object, it will skip it. Okay, and so if you get stuck somewhere, remember this. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye-bye.